What's up YouTube? This is Pop Check with another video that I won't say really is a Toys R Us video or a Funko video, but it is Toys R Us related because they came from the Funko website. Now uh, Funko's been doing a thing now since Toys R Us is closing that they have been selling the Toys R Us exclusives on their website, which is sad. Like Toys R Us is gone, that's like a sign that Toys R Us is really gone. If you haven't seen the website is down as well so there's no more church toys r us no more babies r us the era has gone now i was one of the kids that grew up with toys r us i took my kids there as well like this the excitement of just being in a store with nothing but toys just happiness and joy as a child but we're gonna go ahead and get into these two boxes uh both of these boxes i got with well, both of these orders i got from the funko shop because again toys r us going out, going out of business so they show this stuff on their website I'm going to open up this smaller box first and see what's in here. Now, the thing about the Funko Shop, of course, is that you're going to pay $15 for the item plus the six something for the shipping. So you're paying a little bit extra for the item, but to have it is worth it. So we open it up, and the item is nicely wrapped. I like how Funko does this. I have to make sure that stuff is nice and secure when it comes to you. This is wrapped up in bow wrap, which is very nice. So I'll unwrap it, and it is the Flock Jeffrey. Now, if you remember a while back, I did a video of when I went and got the Golden Ticket Jeffrey. Um, how all the boxes was messed up, and how I contacted Funko about it and everything. But I'm very happy to say that I actually have a good box now, finally. And this is for this one here, but I did find a box that was worth at least having in a container. But back to this one here. This is very nice. Um, the flat detail on here is very well done, even down to the nostrils, how it has the nostrils in different colors, his stars are different color flat on him. Everything is very detailed and how he did it, which I'm very pleased with and very happy to see. Um, not really happy because it reminds me that Toys R Us is leaving, but I was able to grab this one here. It's very nice. I love it. I will put this now in the hard case, which I had got this for this occasion here. Okay, up oh, just for this occasion. Oh, let's see if I can get open. Now I only do hard, hard ones for things I care about the most, and this is one I care about the most. It's going into a hard case. I do do plastic cases for the other ones. My top five is expensive or most valuable ones. I always have in a hard case, and then the other ones I put into the little soft uh, plastic ones. But this one here is going to go into a hard case. No matter what value it is, because it's the nostalgia of having this and having it around, which is very nice. So, you will move on for this because I'm about to get emotional with it. And the last item here is actually two items he had on their website, um, which both of these things sold out pretty fast. This one sold out fastest, of course, because this was a uh, Toys R Us icon here. But uh, one of the items in here sold out within uh, 20 minutes or so, and the other one was on the site at least for the end of the day. So we're going to go ahead and open it up and see what these two items are here. There we go. Alright, and again, it's a very nice packaging here that he did for it. So, I'm going to do this one first. And this one here is the Flock Bear from the Teen Titans, The Night Begins to Shine. Now, actually, this one here is my third one, and this is my second Flock items. And oddly enough, they both came from Toys R Us. My very first flock item came from Toys R Us, which was the uh, flock Gidget from the pet my from a pet's life, uh, which is very nice. I saw it in the store. I grabbed that one. I also grabbed the regular version, but this one is very nice. Again, they do very nice details with flocking most of the time. These so far, any flock thing I've seen has very nice details on it. Down to the fact that the fur, the little uh, toy horse, uh, kind of zigzag is on his chest, but how the fur is kind of laid on him, which is very nice. The sunglasses, I always love when a pop has sunglasses or something on their face, like a helmet or something. It shows a separation of the molding, which is very, this is nice detailed in there. It's not part of the molding, but it's very nicely done. Um, the, actually, the size of this pop is very, very, very fitting for this. It's as if it's like the real size of it here. And uh, like a, not, not the big head, like, well, Jeffrey kind of has a big head as, a, as he is, but... 
it's not like a big jacket head and a small body is fitting for each other. It's like a heavy pop. There's a very few pops I found that was actually kind of heavy in weight and feel, but this is very, this has some weight to it. Um, this is very nicely done. It's detail. Again, this is a Target exclusive, a uh, Toys R Us exclusive, excuse me, Flock the Bear from Tor The Night Begins to Shine. So, of course, if I got The Night Begins to Shine, I have to get the main character that was in that cartoon, which was Cyborg. Now, this is a Glow in the Dark exclusive for Toys R Us. The um, thing that glows on here only is the axe, which is kind of a stretch to say it's a Glow in the Dark, but it's very nice. I have to see if I can find a way to show y'all the glow on it, but this is wonderful. This, I love the pink color on here. Um, I'm gonna see if I can. I'm gonna show y'all a clip of the uh, of the show that had this in here because of the music though, because the title is "The Night Begins to Shine." You can look that up. It's actually a song. Um, it's very nice. Oh no, I just noticed something. So on the back of here, it's like a little bump, like a little pimple on here. But it's not, I'm not really concerned about this just because of the fact that I like this one. This is going to be one for myself. If I, already, if I only get one of something, that's because I want it in my collection only. And that's why I do most of the time I get one of stuff. I'm not a type to go out and buy multiple things and try to be a flipper or sell things or trade them. I think I traded really was the tennis group, the life size group. But this is for my personal collection. Um, again, the cyborg is nicely done. It has a mohawk. Like I have a mohawk for my hair. You can't really tell because my hair is actually starting to grow out now and kind of fall. Um, it's very beautifully done. Like the pink is actually, like it's very, very nice. I can't, I can't even describe it. It's just that nice. Um, so these are the three items I got from the Funko pop-up shop. It happens on every Wednesday and Friday, I found out. Fridays too. It happens at 1030 it's a certain time, which is uh, 7.30 Pacific Standard Time. So you have to be on top of it if you want to grab things. The stuff that be on there goes pretty fast. People have bots, and the bots be grabbing things up. Like they had a Batman, the uh, Ace of Bat Hound, he had that one. Had a pop for it. I had the doors for it. It had a pop for it that sold out in less than three minutes. Like I was caught up trying to get my Amazon like payment thing straight for it, and I missed out on it. It was in my cart. Amazon was acting up. I had a our true proof it was me and then by the time I did that within like the little half a second I had to do it it was sold out but um, keep your eyes on stuff like that I try to let y'all know if I can usually I let y'all know after I have tried to grab it myself so if I post it I'll let you know if it's still there just like I did with the Ace of Bat Ham I posted that it was sold out in less than three minutes and I was unable to get it but I'm gonna try to be on top of things better so I can show y'all stuff Again, it's the fifteen dollars you have to pay for it on their website plus the six dollars shipping. But at the end of the day, to have something that's exclusive from the Funko site is nice. I don't have anything that's exclusive Funko exclusive, like something that's came from Funko only that's exclusive yet, which would be nice to add something to my collection that is from Funko only. But uh, thank you for watching. I have a lot more videos for you, from you for y'all, for me, for y'all, for everybody. Um, as you see, I'm mean, posting videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so keep a watch out. I also have the Instagram page. I will have the Facebook page as well. I'm um, making sure y'all have every kind of way to access me and find me. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment, and share with friends. Mm -hmm.